Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on the low. Trapping out a while in. I keep seeing the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me score. All right, you guys, welcome back to Nail by Chris. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, girl, hey. If you're a new, hey, boo, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. All right, you guys, so today we are going to create a Tom and Jerry um, nail design. I'm just going to recreate their faces based off these pictures that I found on Google. So if you like, please, you know what I'm saying? Comment, let me know how your girl did. I think I did pretty freaking good. You know what I'm saying? I've been getting better and better um, with my placement with faces and just trying to, you know, figure out um, basically how to become a better artist. Um, eventually, I plan on getting some more realistic nail art on nails. But for right now, I'm really, really, really digging the character nail designs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, cartoon themes like that. You know what I'm saying? That's really like my my style so far but you know i've advanced over time but anyways today we are going to do a tom and jerry and i am mixing gel paints i'm going to be using savalan gel paints and young nails um as y'all know these are my go-to paints you can um go online and look up savalan on uh amazon and you can also look up Young Nails. I don't think they sell their Mission Control gels on Amazon, but I do know an excuse my dog in the background. Snook always making noise. I really do apologize. But if you go on um, online to youngnails.com and you create a nail account, you can look and see the prices for the Mission Control gels. Sometimes they go on sale, sometimes they don't. But you know, they're very, very, very good gel paints. I swear by them. I've been using them since I started, like, really getting into my nail designs once I stopped using my gel paints. Like, I mean, not gel paints, gel polish. But it's literally the best way to go using gel paint. Like, they literally can match up to just about any color that you use anyway. So, why not? And to me, it's less cost effective. Like, you're not using your gel polish as your gel paint as well to create nail designs. You just use gel paint. But anyways, you guys. Um, I enjoyed creating this nail set. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, I'm loving how my clients are challenging me more. I've been asking for more of a challenge, so I'm glad that, you know what I'm saying, they're on me and they're just wanting more, you know what I'm saying, and they're respectful of my art. And also, like, I've been getting faster with time, so that's been working out in my favor as well, but I think it's like the more that I do, you know, the faster I'll get type thing. But I just really enjoy just like creating nail sets. Like I surprise myself sometimes with how well everything turns out. But you know, everything um, is formed off strategy. You know what I'm saying? You have to start out with the outline of everything and you have to figure out the colors. Like for me, I like to put everything down on my nail palette, like mix every single last color so I won't have to continuously stop and mix colors like I could just keep going and going and going so I will literally sit and like right now I'm making um uh, what is this the the tongue color but you know what I'm saying I take time out to do this before I start the nail design because you don't want to start mixing colors while you're trying to complete your nail design because I feel like that's very backwards so yeah just go ahead and mix up every color um, as y'all can see, you really don't need too much whenever um, you're, you're uh, applying these paints to the nail. For me, I just overuse a lot. And then also sometimes, like, I mix other colors with other colors in the process to create another color. So that's why you, I have so much gel paint on my palette. That's just because that's, that's just the artist in me. Like, I always, I see colors different, like, Differently, I think about the undertone. I, like, I think about how many colors it looks like it's in it. Like, what, what family it's in. You know, I think about everything when it comes to these colors. And I probably could have went a little darker on Tom, but I really didn't want to. Because, like, whenever you cure it, and whenever I did a second layer, as you're going to see as I keep going, like, it was just, it was dark enough. You know what I'm saying? It was just cool. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all get into this tutorial because honestly, this time I really don't have much to talk about. 
Um, this nail design was something that was very um, just sporadic. Well, I know this client specifically always wants like the nail designs. But this was not like, just like spare of the moment. Like I didn't really know. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm about to do. So, you know, I just, I don't know. I just, you know what I'm saying? I, I did what needed to be done. You know what I'm saying? You showed me a picture of something that you kind of think that you want me to, you know what I'm saying? Freestyle a little bit. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just, I do what I do. Or you want me to recreate a certain type of face? I mean, I, I, I just, I do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Just put a picture on my face and voila. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to do my best. Oh, so before I go, let me let y'all know what polishes I'm using. So I am using the Extreme Gel um, as my base, as my clear base. And I'm using OPI Bubble Bath um, as my first coat of polish. Because y'all know I love this polish. You know, I swear by it. <laughs> and then I also use, um, again, Savalan. I use, I think I'm using they're black I, I don't think it has, it has like a name for it but you know i like like i told you guys earlier i'm working on my placement so as you can see i'm starting off with my eyes just to see you know what i'm saying where i'm gonna start my eyes in the mouth area and yes as i'm working sometimes i just wipe it off as i go and start over again i feel like that's just what you do as an artist like just you know just yourself up and try again try again who who you know that type of mess you know what i'm saying but anyways you guys like i just told y'all i'm gonna go i'm gonna let y'all get into these nails um yes you are gonna see where i make mistakes and where i fix them you know i feel like this is part of a tutorial i feel like i'm giving you guys the raw unfiltered version you know because you know some people feel like they have to just automatically be an artist to just start somewhere and i have to let people know like i just started putting faces on nails like literally five years ago but i've also had to practice and i practice with every single last thing that i've done that comes to nails like even when it comes to acrylic like people think you know once you apply the acrylic and you get it down packed in your mind you know what i'm saying that it's just how it's how it's gonna be and how you know what i'm saying a lot of people have a hard time with being critiqued and for me, I just continuously practice, 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 practice because I critique myself every time I lay acrylic. I, I critique myself every time I polish. I critique myself every time I do some nail art. I critique myself. And sometimes I may not like it. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily the foundation, but maybe my design. You know what I'm saying? Something. Sometimes there are just things that I don't like, even as an artist. You know what I'm saying? Or that I feel like I can do better. Um, you're never done growing. You're never done learning. There's something that you can always do better. And some people, you know what I'm saying, you could tell them where 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 they're where they're wrong or where they're messing up at, you know what I'm saying? They they'll either take it, you know what I'm saying, and actually apply it and try to do better and some will just be salty and just not listen and keep doing the same old thing. But you know what I'm saying? If you continue to practice, practice, practice over time to get better, you will get better. But you have to first be consistent with your practicing and you have to always try man i've gone through so many nail hand trainers like right. it's just it's just it's part of growing you know what i'm saying it's part of learning and i hate when people feel like they're done or that they can't advance bro you can pretty much do anything that you want to do as long as you apply yourself like and i wholeheartedly believe that and i believe that under any circumstances you can but you know that's just me that's just how i take life that's just, you know what I'm saying, how I breathe, how I wake up. You know what I'm saying? I put that type of energy even into the atmosphere. And I try to like let God work his magic, you know what I'm saying? I just do me, you know? But anyways, I just told y'all for now the third time that I'm going to let y'all go and enjoy the rest of this next story. And I'm for real, I'm going to let y'all go for real. Because y'all not going to keep listening to me rant. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, um, I'm going to talk to you later. Oh, let me let you guys know what, of course, as always, I use Young Nails um, Core Clear Acrylic. And I also use Extreme um, Liquid Monomer. Just want to point that back out because I don't think I said that in the beginning of all the products that I've used. Because I did not show you guys the acrylic application. I'm only showing you guys um, the design portion. So I'm just going to hit 
know, touch back on there real fast. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If, if, again, if you see anything that you think that I can do better, if you think there are some new techniques that I should try, please comment below and let me know. I'm always here for, you know what I'm saying, growth and what I could do better as an artist. Um, so, yeah. Don't forget to, again, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.